There's nothing quite like taking a vacation on a sun-drenched island with endless beaches to explore. The problem, though, is that you're often forced to share these experiences with other tourists who are doing the same thing, so it hardly becomes an isolated island paradise. If you can afford it, however, you can instead take your break somewhere far less busy. So pack your sunscreen and don't forget your snorkeling gear as we take a look at 15 incredible island paradises around the world. Number 15. Laukala Island Once belonging to Malcolm Forbes, but now owned by Dietrich Mateschitz, one of the brains behind Red Bull, Laukala Island is a small island to the east of Taveuni, one of the main islands of Fiji. Covering an area of just four and a half square miles, it's just over three miles long and between one and two miles wide. Apparently selling for $7 million in 2003, the Red Bull visionary has now turned this paradise into an exclusive getaway called the Laukala Island Resort, and it's simply stunning. Featuring 25 villas, each of which has its own pool, elegant decor, and more facilities than most people's homes, the resort also offers five bars and restaurants, an 18-hole golf course, and countless walking and cycling trails. The only way to access the island is by private jet to its small airfield or by a private boat charter. And once you're there, you'll hardly see another soul since the only people on the island are those that are staying at the resort. It's almost completely self-sufficient too, with its own organic farm, meaning that while you're on Laukala Island, you're as detached from the wider world as it's possible to be while staying in the utmost of luxury. Number 14, Pamalakan Island. Located in the Sulu Sea, which is between the islands of Palawan and Panay in the Philippine province of Palawan, Pamalakan Island is just 1.6 miles long and only 1,600 feet wide at its widest point, but it's sat atop a 2.7 square mile region of pristine coral reef. Originally owned and run as a plantation, a businessman and his family realized that it had far more potential as a luxurious island retreat, so began to work to build an exclusive resort there, which is called Amanpulo. The only way to reach the resort is by private charter jet from the international airport in Manila. And once you're there, you'll never want to leave. Each of the villas has its own private swimming pools, outdoor lounges, kitchens, and dining pavilions. And families that stay there get their own personal housekeeper and chef, meaning that at no point do you have to mingle with other guests. Of course, as such a small piece of land, there's very little to do other than relaxing on the pristine beaches in the sun. But for those looking for something a little more exciting, the reef offers some of the best diving sites, untarnished by human activity, that you'll find anywhere in the world. Number 13. Vela Island Nonu Atoll is a group of 71 islands that are part of the Maldives, and while there are just over 10,000 residents across them all, one of the most isolated and amazing ones is called the Vela Island. While the country has a number of islands in private ownership, very few of them are owned by just one person. But that's the case with Vela, which has been transformed by Jiri Smedjik into the perfect retreat for people that consider privacy to be one of the most important factors. Its name means Turtle Island in a local dialect, as it's a place where every year a large number of turtles return to lay their eggs. And this theme continues throughout the resort, with turtle motifs and emblems everywhere you look. The villas, which are built over the water, are meant to represent the head of a turtle, with the island making up the body. And there's a conservation program to ensure the presence of tourists doesn't affect the natural wildlife. In total, there are 43 private villas, but one in particular, called the Romantic Room, is the best on offer. Designed for romantic getaways, the only way to get to the villa is by boat, so there's no chance of you being accidentally disturbed. Number 12. Como Parake The Turks and the Caicos Islands have become increasingly popular for tourists in the past few decades, but that doesn't mean it's lacking in private island paradises too. Parrot Cay was purchased by the Como Group in 1998, which saw a thousand-acre island turned into an exclusive retreat without fear of prying eyes. It's an ideal location to attract tourists, being just 575 miles to the southeast of Miami. But it doesn't have its own airport, and instead you need to access the resort by a half-hour boat ride from the main island of the Turks and Caicos, Providenciales. Today, there are 61 rooms on the island, which was once called Pirate K because it was where several notorious buccaneers supposedly have their base of operations. And there's also a series of private villas and beach houses that are owned by famous celebrities, such as Bruce Willis and Keith Richards. There's an incredible infinity pool to relax in, 
as well as a fully resourced spa, but the main attraction is the mile-long private beach and the incredible diving sites that can be found just off the coast. The seclusion and exclusivity of Parrot Cay means that it regularly has celebrity visitors, with notable recent guests including Barbara Streisand, Justin Timberlake, and Paul McCartney. It's so popular as a retreat that it was even the site of the wedding between Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner in 2005, and likely many more who chose it for its beauty to avoid the cameras. Number 11. Bawa Reserve for a long time, very few people knew there was a small chain of islands that lay in the ocean between Malaysia and Borneo, but their remoteness made them the ideal location for one of the most private island paradises in the world, called the Bawa Reserve, and actually covers five of these small outcrops, all of which are covered in lush forests and have three azure blue sheltered lagoons and 13 pristine beaches between them. This is designed to be an eco-resort, so every effort has been made to preserve the natural environment. The 35 villas have been built either over the water or on a beach and are all made from locally sourced materials. In the restaurant, the ingredients for everything on the menu has been grown nearby, and the islands are surrounded by one of the largest marine reserves in the region. This means that as well as gorgeous beaches and jungle trails, there's so much to explore in the water too. Despite being on vacation, you'll always be left with the sense that you need to return because there's never enough time to see everything that's on offer. Yes, it's luxury, but it's also proof that this can be done in an eco-friendly way, although you will, of course, have to pay a huge amount for this privilege. Number 10. Voava Island If you've always wanted to visit the Maldives and can afford a rate of $40,000 per night, then Voava Island could be just what you're looking for. It's in the Ba Atoll, UNESCO Biosphere Reserve, and was for a long time used as a picnic spot for guests of resorts on other islands. But this all changed with the construction of the Four Seasons on the island. This, though, is not a Four Seasons like you might expect, because the five-acre island has just three villas on it, and they're all included in the price. You truly get this entire island to yourself, with palm trees in every direction, all types of water sports you can imagine, pristine beaches, and the use of a 62-foot yacht. The island has 28 full-time staff members to be on hand and catered to guests every request, and with a maximum occupancy of 22 people, the initial huge price works out to be just over $1,800 per person per night if you have enough friends to join you. With complete privacy, a number of dive sites that are yet to be explored, two infinity pools, and plenty more, it's no wonder this is one of the most sought-after private island paradises in the world. Number 9. Tetiaroa Island Tetiaroa is an extremely remote atoll in French Polynesia in the South Pacific and was once the preferred vacation spot for members of the Tahitian royal family. Located around 33 miles north of Tahiti, it has an area of just under 2.3 square miles and surrounds a lagoon that's up to 100 feet deep. The island was sold by the royal family to a dentist in 1904, but what happened next was a complete surprise, and this led to the island becoming one of the most exclusive and private retreats in the world. During the filming of Mutiny on the Bounty in 1960, Marlon Brando apparently became besotted by the island and was eventually able to buy it. He proceeded to build a number of structures which included 12 basic bungalows, a bar, some huts, and a dining hall, but his dream was always to turn it into a luxury resort. Unfortunately, this would never happen during his lifetime, but in the years since he's passed away, his plans have become a reality. There's now an eco-hotel called The Brando that also has a spa, a research station, a private runway, and a staff village and has since become incredibly popular with high-profile visitors because of how private it is. It was, for example, where Barack Obama went to stay for a month after the end of his presidency and is often used in the same way by other wealthy individuals who need some time out from the pressures of real life. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Lord Howe Island Found in the Tasman Sea, which is between Australia and New Zealand, Lord Howe Island is a 6.2 mile long and up to 1.2 mile wide piece of land that, despite it covering more than 3,600 acres, has only 900 acres of low-lying land that can be developed. It's been regularly inhabited since first being discovered in the 18th century, and there's now a small permanent community that lives there. 
While this means that it's not fully private and separate from the rest of the world, there are strict controls on the number of tourists allowed on the island at any one time, and this has the effect of making it feel like you're in a secluded paradise. There are very few facilities on the island, and you won't get cell reception once you've arrived, but there are a number of luxury lodges and villas to stay in, and the lack of modern conveniences only helps to give this sense of privacy. The biggest attractions are the abilities to explore the ecosystem, as it's ideal for diving, snorkeling, kayaking, fishing, and bird watching. And there are a number of wrecks on the jagged rocks around the shore, which are also an incredible sight to see. Number 7. Fernando de Noronha Fernando de Noronha is part of Brazil and is an archipelago that's 220 miles offshore in the Atlantic Ocean. There are 21 islands in total. And while the main island has around 3,000 permanent residents, the others are in private ownership and are some of the most stunning island paradises in the world. More than 70% of the region was designated as a national marine park in 1988, and because of the ecological importance, the whole region was further protected in 2001 by being established as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This essentially prevents any further development from taking place, so the pristine beaches, unique plant and animal life, and remoteness from the rest of the world makes it the ideal place for a private retreat. It's the marine life that makes it truly special though, with large numbers of dolphins, whales, turtles, and sharks in the surrounding waters. Whether you're visiting the main island or one of the privately held ones, you'll feel like you're staying on a pristine island paradise, and one that has been barely touched by human interference. Number 6. Sarabangina Island Off the northwest coast of Madagascar, there's a small archipelago called Mitseo. All of the islands are pristine island paradises, but there's one that's more special than the rest, a place called Sarabangina Island. Covered in dense forest with sandy white beaches all around, the island has just 25 luxury villas on it, all of which are made from rosewood and have thatched roofs. The villas have everything you would expect, from private pools and verandas to ideal ocean views and natural breeze cooling systems. And even the communal areas are stunning, such as the bar and restaurant that have sand-covered floors. With so few rooms available, there's a limited number of people on the island at any one time, and you can quite easily spend your entire vacation there without seeing another soul. While the beaches are probably what Surabangina Island is best known for, there's also an untarnished reef that surrounds the island that offers exhilarating snorkeling and diving trips, as well as some of the best deep-sea fishing you'll find anywhere. Furthermore, because of its location, the weather's perfect virtually all year round, and as it's only 40 miles away from the mainland, it's much easier to travel to than most other private island paradises. Number 5. Dennis Island the Seychelles is one of the most famous island retreats in the world, with hundreds of thousands of people traveling to the archipelago each year to relax in the sun. You've probably seen images of large resorts and tourists at every turn, but this isn't everyone's experience of the place. Some of the islands are privately owned and have been developed into luxurious escapes where visitors only have to share their time away with the wealth of nature that surrounds them. One of the most exclusive of these is Dennis Island, which is a 375-acre islet that's been developed in an eco-conscious way. The center of the island is covered in lush jungle and is where you'll be able to see a number of rare bird species and even giant tortoises, while the reefs that surround the island are some of the best in the Seychelles. They're actually so vast and shallow in areas that the only structure on the island for a long time was a lighthouse to warn approaching ships of the dangers that lie beneath the waves. For snorkeling and diving, however, you'll struggle to find any better. And all in all, the island offers one of the most varied combinations of endangered endemic species on Earth. Number 4. Turtle Island With more than 300 islands and a further 540 islets, it's no surprise that Fiji is one of the last remaining pristine tropical paradises in the world. And while around 100 of these are permanently inhabited, the rest are in private ownership. Many haven't been developed at all, but some have been turned into exclusive island getaways that only the wealthiest of people are able to afford. Turtle Island, for example, is an all-inclusive resort that's on the world-renowned Blue Lagoon of Fiji, with views across some of the neighboring islands. It's incredibly private, though, and has just 14 beachfront villas, meaning that at most you'll be sharing your seclusion with 13 other couples. Considering the island has 12 private beaches, it's almost guaranteed that you'll have one all to yourself, and this is just the beginning of what's on offer. 
All of this began in 1972 when an entrepreneur landed on one of the beaches of the island which, at the time, didn't have a single structure on it. He immediately saw the potential and began constructing the villas, with an emphasis on protecting it as much as possible and reinvesting any profits into achieving that goal. As with the rest of Fiji, diving and snorkeling are incredible off the coast of Turtle Island, and the resort truly gives the option to enjoy your vacation in the utmost privacy. And there's also a shared restaurant where most guests eat each day, or you can alternatively choose to have a private moonlit dinner instead. Number 3. North Island, Seychelles Located in the Western Indian Ocean, the Seychelles is a collective of more than 115 islands, and many of these are owned privately. There's a place to choose that caters to everyone's taste. But if it's seclusion, privacy, and relaxation that you're looking for, then North Island is one of the best. Covering an area of just three quarters of a square mile, there are four main beaches known as East Beach, West Beach, Honeymoon Cove, and Dive Beach. Having changed hands a number of times in the past century, it was most recently acquired in 1997 for $5 million by a South African eco-tourism company, and they've turned it into a private island paradise. There are just 11 villas on the island, each of which is spaced out from one another and surrounded by palm trees with spectacular views across the beach and ocean. Every structure has been built from coral or unwanted trees, and as well as the villas, there is a small village that has a gym, a spa, library, a restaurant, a boutique, a dive center, a main pool, and a bar. All food used on the island is either grown locally or caught from the sea and the menus on offer are crafted by the chef based upon the likes and dislikes of the guests. While each of the villas is designed to be the epitome of luxury, there's one that's a little more special than the others. Known as Villa North, it's even more isolated than the rest and is such a stunning place to be that it was where Prince William and Catherine spent their honeymoon after getting married in 2011. If it's good enough for royalty, it surely has to be one of the greatest island paradises on Earth. Number 2. Niyama Islands the Maldives is an archipelago of more than 1,190 islands in the Indian Ocean, and while just 185 of them are permanently inhabited, the others are home to some of the most exclusive, luxurious, and private resorts in the world. If rest and relaxation and fun are what you're looking for, then the Niyama Islands are a great choice, because this twin island resort is able to cater to virtually any guest requirement. Each of the islands has its own personality, with one focusing on play and the other on chill. On the Chill Island, there's a spa, villas over the water, a beachfront restaurant, and spectacular swimming and diving. While on the Play Island, you'll find adventurous activities such as treetop climbing, water sports, and plenty more. Each of the elegantly designed villas is made from local materials and has a thatched roof, and you can choose between beachfront accommodation or ones on stilts above the water. The islands are only accessible by seaplane, which offers a stunning view as you're coming into land at the jetty, and once you're there, all your troubles will be guaranteed to be left behind. Number 1. Necker Island Possibly the most famous and luxurious private island paradise in the world is Necker Island. It's part of the British Virgin Islands in the Caribbean and is owned by Richard Branson, the founder of the Virgin Group. Covering an area of 74 acres, it was an underdeveloped island when he took control of it, and it took three years and a $10 million investment to get it up and running as a luxury resort. It was apparently a mosquito-ridden place at the time, but it's completely different now. The main structures have taken inspiration from a range of different architectural designs, and only the best materials from around the world were used in its construction. From the use of local stone to imported Brazilian wood, antiques from Asia, carpets from India, and artworks from every corner of the earth, you get the sense of elegance, luxury, and privacy the moment you set foot on the island. There are two main private beaches, a series of private pools, tennis courts, virtually any water sports activity you can think of, a private chef, around 100 staff members, and even a private submarine that can be used to explore the surrounding reefs. There's space in the resort for up to 40 people, and with a starting price of just over $100,000 per day, this truly is one of the most exclusive places in the world. It's where Branson spends most of his time, too, and he uses Necker Island to host celebrity guests, with recent visitors including the Obamas. It's also where he holds his annual Extreme Tech Challenge, which gives inventors from around the world a chance to visit the island paradise and show the next great tech innovations to their peers. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.